Hey friends and book babes, welcome back to the channel. It is going to be another flip through book journal video. We're going to go through the month of April and then also talk about my May TBR. So I'm now at 27 books for the year, which is great. That means I'm already a little bit more than halfway before the middle of the year. So we're ahead of schedule, so we might end up reading more than 50. In April, I read six books again. This has been an ongoing theme since February. <laughs> Here are the book links so far. And here's my bookshelf filled out. This half is already all the way filled up. So now we're gonna be transitioning to this side. And don't worry, we got more, so it's okay. We did have one five-star read this month, and that is Daisy Hates the Great Undoing. I had nothing to fill in on my A to Z challenge this month, unfortunately, but I was able to fill in a new square for my book bingo, and that is reading a graphic novel. I've never read a graphic novel until this month, so that's great. <laughs> And we have officially finished the Magnolia Parks series. So I can fill, fill that in. And there is going to be a vlog at some point of me reading Into the Dark. So stay tuned for that. I just filled in Into the Dark because I don't really know what to do with this little section for when I actually do read these books. So I just started filling them in. I did finally get to fill in another state, which was Ohio, in one of the books I read this month. It was set in that state. I haven't been able to fill this little section in that much because <laughs> most of the books I've been reading are either fantasy, so they're in a completely different world, or they've been out of state, like Magnolia Parks. They're in London, so it is what it is. Hopefully I get to fill in more of this as the year goes by. But I finally got to fill in another physical TBR, and that is the seven year slip. Not doing top 10 till probably the end of the year, so. And then for my book of the year little tracker, for April I put Daisy Hates the Great Undoing. We're still chill, because <laughs> I don't post like I should be but it's okay. <laughs> and now we can finally get into the months. So April, I actually did really good with my TBR. I read pretty much all of them except for the two I was waiting on for Libby. So we did pretty good. Let's go through what I read. I read This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan. I started this in March and finished in the beginning of April. I gave that one 4.5 stars. It was really good. Um, it just wasn't giving what Before I Let Go was giving. And then I read the second Magnolia Parks, which is Long Way Home. I gave that one four stars. And then Daisy Hates the Great Undoing. I gave five stars, like I've mentioned. And then I read the Seven Year Slip. This one was going was really close to being a five star. I just feel like the ending was kind of rushed a little bit and lackluster, unfortunately. So I have point seven five stars because it was almost there, just not just not close enough. <laughs> but then on audiobook on Spotify Premium, I read Little Fires Everywhere so I could start watching the Hulu show. And I really enjoyed it. I did give it four stars. It wasn't like anything crazy spectacular. <laughs> I really have liked the author's previous work a little bit more than this one. And then on the last day of the month is when I read the graphic novel for Avatar The Last Airbender, The Promise. And I did that solely because I realized that I had read five books that month and consistently I've been reading six. So I wanted to, I wanted to keep that streak alive. So I just read a graphic novel because I knew I could do that within like an hour or two. So I did read that graphic novel in a day and I gave it four stars. It was really good. I'm really excited for the next one though. So hopefully I read that this May. So yeah, but here's my tallies for the genres that I read. And then my format, and then my star ratings. So I got mainly four stars, which is pretty good. But now, 
this is my May. It looks pretty similar to April because you guys know I don't be doing that much. And April, I didn't have a spread for any of the books like I did for March with Percy Jackson. Just because as much as I loved Daisy Hates, I didn't really feel like it warranted one of those, <laughs> to be honest. So, yeah. But that's how we went straight into May. So, yeah. But the end of April is actually when I started reading Into the Dark. And I finished it in May. So, that's going to end up being over here. But I did finish it. This month, it was kind of difficult for me to figure out what I wanted to read. So, I settled for this funny story. I do have that on Libby right now. So, I'm going to start reading it soon. And then just for the summer, I ended up getting the physical copy for because I really want to annotate it. And I just really love Abby Jimenez's books. And then I want to finally start my little goal back here. If you guys noticed, one of my goals is to read three classics. I haven't read any. <laughs> and it's almost half of the year is almost over. So I want to ease into it and probably read The Great Gatsby because it's shorter. And then if you guys watched my Percy Jackson video, then you guys know I was interested in rereading Ariadne. So I have that on there. I don't know if I will because I'll have to do audiobook or Libby for that because I don't have the physical copy. But yeah, and then I have the second book in the Avatar The Last Airbender series, The Search. So I could totally read that the end of the month again and just see what happens. But... Yeah, that is my April wrap-up and my May TBR. I went through it pretty fast. Hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> but if you guys like this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Meet me on the street line. Meet me where the lights fade out Tell me what it feels like